Hey, I'm Oliver. Here we will talk about this low on and off dump truck with crane from Lesu. And uh, we will see the basic operation, how to operate, and uh, what is the settings from radio. This is what I set in with my radio. It is a EV one. So also you can buy EV or other radios to control it. You can compare with these settings. So thank you, let's see. And uh, so let's first go to function assign to see which by which the stickers and the switches is controlling with which functions function assign so first one is the steering steering j1 you you click inside you can switch change click which one you like so if you're touching this one it is going to j1 if you move it you click j2 will change it to j2 so i choose j1 this is for steering same for other switch choosing, go back. So steering is J1, throttle for the driving back and forward, it is J3, this one up and go down. So lamp, SWF, this this one, the switch it on, that's for the lamp. Channel 4, gearbox, so SWE, gearbox SWE, it is this one. You hear the servo is turning, that's for the gearbox. So channel 5 is the sound voice. Channel 5, SWB. <coughs> Off. Okay, that's channel 4 for the engine sound. Channel 5. So now channel 6, plate turning. That's for the crane plate. Plate turning is this one. For crane turning. So channel 7, EDS, that's the differential lock. It is this one, SWA. Uh, no, something wrong. Yeah, SWA, it is this one. SWA for channel 7, differential lock. Channel 8 is the sliding for the bucket. Go forward and backward. That's this one. Uh, slide VRD, you choose, click VRD. So that's this one. For sliding the bucket, I will start operate, you will see. So start the pump. That's for the sliding the bucket. VRD. Okay, so another one. Channel 9 is lifting bucket VRE. Lifting up bucket VRE channel 9. Channel 10, front arm. Okay, so let's go to another one. First, see another one because front arm we will move it later. So for the big arm for this crane, it is J2. J2, it is this one. J2 for the big arm, channel 12. Channel 11, it is the front uh, front arm lift. It is VRC lift up front arm. Channel 11, front arm lift and down. Yeah, okay. Let's see channel 10, front arm, front arm reach out and in. Let's go out, that's front arm. That's VRB, that's the settings. So another one, okay, 9, 10, 11, 12, all checked. Lift bucket, front arm reach out, front arm lift up. Big arm, lift up and down, J2, that's for the 12 channel. So 13 channel, it is a stand. Okay, so stand out, that's the SWG. Stand out, stand up. So standing, this one go up, and uh, for standing, that's the SWD. SWD, that's 13 channel. So uh, 14 channel, SWD. Last one, it is 15 channel. Channel 15, hydraulic pump, that's the VRA. That's hydraulic pump. So totally, we have 15 channel control this truck. And uh, we already see all of these settings and the moving. So another one is we go back to see the RX setup for the receiver. So, so the receiver, let's first check. Go to binding setting, you will see. So when you set up this one, we have two receiver. So first main receiver connecting to the truck. 
So it is from, I, I said, like a 1 to 7 channel. It is for the mass main receiver. So second receiver, it is this one. Second receiver start from channel 8. So second receiver channel 1, it is actually channel 8. So from channel 8 to channel 15, it is from second receiver channel 1 to uh, how many? So 8 channel. Uh, so channel 1 to channel 8. Yeah, that's 8 to 15, really, which channel. OK, so that's for binding this one. OK, let's go back to see the reverse. So for the channel, if you see the steering or some moving of the arm or turning, it is not the right direction. You, you click reverse here. Yeah, then you can change the steering, go to the right one to reverse it. And check the end points. So before you're driving it, before you're steering, you change gear and uh, you change the differential lock. You have to make these settings, otherwise you may burn your servo. This is very important. Let's say the steering. So if you put 100%, you turn into much. The, the wheels may be stuck there, maybe burn your servo. So for this one, you check how much you turn in. It's not touching anything for the wheel. You have to check it. So it is around 69 or 60, 65. So if you turn in more, like 80%, 90%, it will get stuck with the wheels. So that's for steering. Another one I need to change is the gearbox. Gearbox, channel four. Channel four, so this one, before you change this one, you have to try. You go to, also this one have three, it's different, yeah? This one is three speed gearbox. So no neutral position. So you can try with, you don't have to, care about the midpoint. So you directly, you can, uh, actually, you have to care about midpoints because three section switch for the three gear, three speed gearbox, yeah? So this middle one, it is like the midpoint. So midpoint should be engaged with the middle speed. So we, let's go back to, to check function assign endpoint sub trim it is here sub trim so for the gearbox so you have to set the midpoint now it is how much minus 58% so the servo you already turning to one side so the gear already engaged in the, in the middle position for middle speed after the middle position engaged it is correct you can set it again for the low speed and high speed. Let's go back. That's the sub trim. Then you go back again to the end points to set him to be engaged for low speed and high speed. So let's check. So now when going to right side, that's for low speed. Now this position, this position is low speed. So I set up 49%. This is the trick. You should look at the servo look at the connecting road for speed changing from the transmission gearbox. You, you look at it and you change the number. So you see if the, the connecting road can move, the arm, rock arm can move or not. If already reached dead ends, cannot move, you stop it. Don't, don't increase too much. So it was around 40, 45 should be enough. 49, like this, you check from there when you do the setting. Also for the, that's the middle speed already setting with the middle points. So now it's high speed, high speed going to left, this side. Same, you look at the servo and the connecting road, the rock arms. You, you first go to low position and you increase for the range of the arm moving. You increase until the arm cannot turn anymore. You stop and you go back a little bit. So not get stuck with the servo. So you, you, if you increase too much, already reached the dead point, cannot move anymore, but the arm from the servo still want to turn. So get stuck there, and always with the resistance, the servo will be burned. Okay, go back. That's the gearbox. So what else need to be? So EDS, 
EDS, it is channel 7, that's for the differential lock. Differential lock actually have the big range for turning the servo. Actually, you only check if it is locked or not. So from 50, 90, 80%, it is all good. Only you have to check with your axles. You, you lift up, you drive it to see if the, the wheels are locked or not. So this one you can easily set in. Which is trouble is the speed gearbox. Okay, others no need setting anymore. Let's see. So I will show you the receiver. Let's turn it around. So you can see the receiver from main receiver one to seven channel. And I will separate it. Separate it. So this one, it is the main receiver from uh, channel 1 to channel 7. So main receiver got all these functions. You uh, see, you go back to see from the radio what I'm talking about. So for auxiliary receiver, it is mainly, you see, from uh, the crane or the distribution valves. So, OK, so I got one more connection from the truck because this is for the 15 channel. That's the hydraulic pump motor ESC. So this have power to give power supply to this auxiliary receiver. That's the power supply. Also, that's the pump. OK, others, that's all the distribution valve. So from here, it, from this receiver, it is from 1 to 15. So actually, from the whole system, it is from channel 8 to channel 15. Yeah, from here, it is from 1 to 8, from channel 1 to channel 8. For real one, it is from channel 8 to channel 15. OK, let's stick it back again. This two spare one, it is for the spare two distribution valve for the hydraulic control for future upgrades. No need to plug, now no operation for it. OK, stick it, so it is going under the cabin. OK, I will put it back. Thank you very much. That's the basic operation and settings from the radio. Also, you can do some changes from your side. And for the control curve, it's more complicated. And also, you can set up the mix control for the pump. Thank you very much. We will see each other again. Bye-bye.